Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Carblog India. Today I'm going to give you a test drive review of the Renault Duster Diesel, the RXZ1110 PS. This is the top end variant which comes with a diesel engine which is the 1.5 litre engine. Let's take it for a spin and show you how it performs on the road as well as off the road. on the mild off-roads and let us show you how the duster performs on not so even road but right now we are on a grassy and bumpy uh, terrain where you can see there is a lot of uh, distance between the surfaces we are going to go down let us take you up again on the same track The Duster has a turning radius of 5.2 meters which is quite impressive for the car of this size. We have just climbed an obstacle, kind of a ramp which was around 6 to 8 inches in height and it did it without any drama. Another very impressive feature is that the suspension has been tuned very very well. Uh, the way it soaks up most of the bumps even of a very on a very bad road is tremendous oh, fantastic the steering feedback is quite good the steering feels kind of heavy it's just like a hydraulic would feel and the the feedback and the feel of being connected to the road is quite tremendous in the car it doesn't feel like an SUV it feels like you are controlling a hatchback it is so easy and comfortable at the same time it gives you capability to go really uh, bad and tough roads with a ground clearance of over 200 millimeters, which is 205 millimeters to be precise. We are testing the duster on the city roads, we have just taken it for off-road. Now we are taking it on the city roads and what I notice is the rev bands where it actually delivers power is between 2000 and 4000 rpm where it actually pulls really really well. So if you are on a highway and you want to cruise comfortably, I would recommend to not upshift the gears until you reach at least 2500 rpm because it will give an effortless power and torque and if you are cruising in 5th and 6th gears at a speed close to uh, 120 uh, kilometers per hour and if you need a, a quick maneuver to overtake uh, etc then you probably might to have uh, might have to downshift to 4th gear also mm -hmm. right now we are on city roads in congested traffic going at speeds close to 60 kilometers per hour in 4th gear around 2000 rpm 
if you have to go slow you really need not put any efforts on it the engine has tremendous torque of 248 newton meters which pulls it all the way even if you are in fourth gear and if your speed drops down to uh, say 20 or 30 kilometers per hour you just need to uh, tap the accelerator and it will quickly pull it although you will not get the acceleration you would intend to it is not very linear but post the turbo lag is over which is around 2000 rpm you would not feel much of a lag the car is quite effortless i have just pulled from the speed of 30 km to 60 km in uh, fourth gear and i am not feeling any underpower or anything stopping the car from pulling well right now i am uh, on a flyover it has climbed up really well so around 80 km per hour 2000 rpm fifth gear the car is quite effortless and besides its large size it does not feel that you are driving a large car because the handling is very nimble it goes straight in the line where you point it the steering feedback is very good so all in all in city it is a little larger than your normal cars your hatchbacks but once you are used to of the dimensions of the car you would not find much of a difficulty in driving it although tight maneuverability and managing through very uh, congested traffic may be a bit of a problem but once you get used to it it will not be much of a issue another thing which uh, i really like about this car is the turning radius besides being around 4.4 meters large uh, in length it has a turning radius of 5.2 meters which is quite small you can easily take u turns in parking compounds you can take uh, u turns on the traffic signals without entering the third lane from your entry so at most second lane which is pretty good the handling braking performance is really nice the handling is confidence inspiring however i would not recommend you to wave it too much once you are beyond 100 km per hour because that can be very risky although it has uh, srs airbags abs which you know take uh, care of the car going out of control but still it is advisable not to go too adventurous although for off roading and for bad roads this is perfect because it soaks up the bumps very very easily you won't even feel that you are going over bad roads even when you are on mild off roads or soft roads you won't feel that you are on bad roads so if you have a, an occupation where you have to drive on rough roads bad roads say you are a builder or you have to visit villages etc this will be your very good companion coupled with the average fuel economy on diesel the 110 dci engine is delivering close to 15 kilometers per liter when you are driving it in a comfort zone when you are driving it in a very uh, enthusiastic manner pulling it too uh, too hard then even it delivers close to 13 kilometers per liter which is not bad at all this engine has a variable geometry turbocharger uh, which actually gives a very good boost in power besides being very very frugal and giving you the every buck for you we pay for the diesel so this is all that we have for the handling uh, point of view when it comes to interiors quality when you are spending close to 11 lakh rupees on a car uh, which is of this size i have certain points which i appreciate about this car and certain points where i think it could have been better first of all the car is very spacious has large boot space of 475 liters which can be even expanded to around 1000 liters when you recline the rear seats which are uh, flat folding seats the some of the areas where it can improve is A slight uh, improvement in the plastic quality the central console looks too plain it doesn't look very premium the quality of the dashboard etc looks good high quality durable but does not give a feel of premiumness there is enough uh, storage space in the glove box above the glove box there are cubby holes you 
you have door pockets which are very deep where you can uh, put your water bottles books etc one of the things i find very awkward is the presence of uh, outside rear view mirror controls under the handbrake so under the parking brake if you have to adjust uh, you might find it a little awkward but it's fine when you uh, you know have to adjust it to only once before you start your drive the visibility is good the overall seat height is impressive you, you can get a very good view of the road all around the rear windshield is also fairly large so you get a good view in the rear view mirror as well it has reverse parking assist sensors it does not have a display but it has a audible sensor which beeps uh, when you are reversing the car so it is also very good for parking since the car is uh, quite large in dimensions so you would find it very handy when you have to park it in the tight spaces overall the visual appearance the appeal of the car from the exteriors is very good interiors could have been a little more premium but we don't have much to complain about it the feel the space air conditioning everything is quite well when it comes to functionality they could have gone for uh, an automatic climate control instead of the manual controls but never mind it works very well there is a dedicated ac vent for the rear passengers as well there is a folding armrest at the rear with cup holders ample of seating space for five passengers on long journey quite comfortable and renault has also started offering jump seats for the rear so if you want to have more passengers on board you can add two jump seats at the rear removing the parcel tray as accessory so you can make it a seven seater as well so in terms of interiors features comfort it is quite good now let's talk about the drivability handling and performance the suspension is very good tuned very well so the driving feel the the feedback of the steering the way the suspension behaves on uh, turns is very good so the performance and handling both are very good the engine delivers good power the power band is quite wide so you need not do frequent gear shifts in city commuting apart from that uh, the braking is equipped with anti lock braking system the abs with abd ebd and brake assist so it inspires quite good confidence while you are at high speeds you know that the car is less likely to go out of control and there are srs airbags uh, dual airbags on front for extra safety so what you might have seen that there are no steering mounted controls but there are controls behind the steering which you see here these are the controls which are right behind your right hand side behind the steering it takes some time to getting used to you have to pull it towards you to control operate these controls the top and bottom buttons are for volume control there are radio and media buttons here to change the media settings there is an okay but okay button and there is a jog dial which is behind it which you can see here so with this jog dial you can browse through the radio channels etc and other uh, devices and browse through the tracks let me give you a closer glimpse of the audio system as well there is an auxiliary input here between the volume controls and between the radio and assistant you see a usb port here where you can plug in your pen drive etc and play music through them this is the cd slot so it supports cd radio auxiliary as well as usb and these are the basic controls this is for tuning volume controls are here so looks pretty well integrated there is an awkwardly placed uh, door closing and central locking controls here here you see the defogger this is the hazard light these are the air conditioning controls at the bottom you have uh, this control from where you can turn on and off the abs on the left hand side you have your uh, indicator controls and on the right side you have wiper controls this is the instrument console which you can see here has a large uh, tachometer on the left which red lines around 6000 rpm and a speedometer which goes up to 200 km per hour in the middle you have a trip computer which you can change the mode by clicking the buttons on the wiper end and uh, it also has integrated uh, display for temperature fuel gauge distance to empty time and there are some other symbols which are at the bottom which are based on the lights uh, that glow up when 
different warning signs are up the door trims have glossy black elements chrome inserts on the door handles chrome plated gear knobs chrome around the ac vents so small touches of chrome here and there dual tone interiors this is black this is beige the seat styling is also dual tone what you see is uh, black as well as beige on the seat trims as well there are height adjustable seat belts so you can adjust them as per your comfort there are three small cabin lamps in the middle the middle one operates all and the side ones can be operated independently there are also cabin lamps at the rear seats for rear passengers so quite functional and feature rich on the interiors